to the crowd. I think David Taylor feels that energy as well and just wants to be the spoiler. He loves it. I will be surprised if Yazdani doesn't come out with some shots and, and trying to get a lead early. It's interesting to see the approach. Taylor has not moved. He has planted into that position, awaiting the handshake. Yazdani staying loose. He will wait to get into the position. A brief handshake. The referee makes sure everybody is set. The world watches, and here we go for gold at 86. Yazdani right to that left-hand underhook. Like I said, I was gonna be really surprised if we didn't see action right off the bat. Yazdani going to that wrist position and, and fighting with his head. Taylor trying to reposition his heels near the edge. Notice Driving him. hard is Yazdani. Taylor goes down to both knees. Now a thrust by Yazdani, and he will fire the opening salvo on the step out point. Taylor's done a really good job at, with Yazdani. When he's attacked, Taylor's been the aggressor of getting that second attack. So by going to a, a step out and, and not allowing David Taylor to ground himself was really smart for Yazdani in that mat, in that, that place on the mat. Double unders, Yazdani pinching tightly, brings Taylor down. Taylor still with the left arm control, preventing Yazdani from trying to swing around or grab an ankle. Look how he's pulling that uh, elbow underneath and not letting Yazdani's elbows come up to get to the corner, keeping Yazdani in front of him. Very smart by David Taylor. But the right now, the pressure and the power primarily is coming from Yazdani in just a moment. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a passivity call against Taylor as he's been on his heels. Again, it's Yazdani just driving in the underhook. Taylor does a much better job of, of able to circle it back, get back into the center. Yazdani, a more aggressive approach from what we've seen in the previous matchups. Which is the way that David Taylor has won over time is in that second period, he has allowed Yazdani to blow all his energy in the yep. first period and a half. So we'll see if he's being a crafty veteran at this point and allowing Yazdani to maybe use all his energy. But there's that passivity call on Taylor. I think it's the right call. Verbal warning, Taylor wasn't sure if that was the first or second time. It was the first, so no shot clock yet. One nothing lead, Yazdani with a step out point. Here he is back near the edge, looking for maybe a lock. Wizard applied by Taylor near the edge, and they go out of bounds. Another step out point, and a two nothing lead for the Iranian. The referee called two, the Matt Judge called, uh, the referee called one, Matt Judge called two. Matt Chairman confirmed the one point for the step out. Pretty close to being grounded there, but they did give the one point step out as Taylor worked to the edge there. So two to zero, 30 seconds to go here in period number one. David Taylor absolutely destroyed the field yesterday, powering his way into this gold medal match. Put up big points, big moves, including the fall in the semifinals. Held off the score sheet in this one after three minutes. Yazdani will go to the corners and a 2-0 lead for Iran. That 2-0 could have been even larger. The defense by Taylor was, was exceptional as he didn't allow Yazdani to get in deep and was just gave up two step out points. Taylor, man can go 12 periods if he has to. He just doesn't slow down. He doesn't. And he'll start to pick up his pace now in the second period as Yazdani comes back to the center. If you're Taylor, where do you feel the offense could come after watching the first three? I think it's going to come from a, from a head pull and a little ankle pick that he does really well, a la his coach, Cale Sanderson. Is where, really, where he's great is he'll 
attack with a, with a forearm, pull the head on the way up. He'll go to an ankle pick. Inside reach there for Taylor as he started to pick up his pace right away here in this second period. Yeah, you see Taylor now the one initiating the action. He's initiating the tie-ups. Ear to ear the two near the center. A lot of hand fighting right now. Yazdani trying to keep Taylor off. Now a quick underhook applied by Yazdani. Has Taylor in some trouble and he comes around for two. Masterful job of going head pull, underhook, switch positions to a second underhook and was able to score for two. Four to zero lead for Yazdani Chirati. His change of direction is, is ridiculous. Taylor drops in on that outside single, has the leg elevated, looking for the trip, and he ends up going down. Still has the leg, key moment, as we hit two minutes to go. And two for Yazdani, it gets white, white paddled, paddled though. No points. Nope, they, they confirmed the two, so it's six to zero lead. The referee called two. The, oh, they took it away now, okay. So they get, put it on the board, they took it away. Sorry, from our perch, we can't see what the third official is putting up. But a four to zero lead, but that shot by Taylor, the fact that Yazdani Chirati was able to whizzer him down and take him down to the mat and almost score doesn't bode well for looking further in this match. On August 5th, Tokyo, Japan, Taylor rallied from a deficit, scored a takedown with just a few seconds to go. Can he rally here in Oslo? Has control, and he's on the board for the first time. And again, once he gets to that, he locks that double right below the, the cheeks of, of Yazdani and is able to lift. Yazdani was smart to belly down instead of going to his back for four. So right now there's that pace going again, a, a change of direction. Taylor came right hand and then switched up to the left hand swing single, back up to their feet. Right now the pace by Taylor is putting it to Yazdani Chirati. Coach is a little bit worried right now. Crowd echoing here inside the Jordal Amphi Arena. Taylor with 35 seconds. He has been in this position before. Yazdani, will this be the time he figures out the American on a two-day run that Iran is gonna remember? And Yazdani Chirati, if he's gonna win this, needs to stay with that underhook and keep Taylor from going to his shot, keep him chest to chest, because when he doesn't, 12 seconds to go, 10 seconds to go, Yazdani Chirati staying busy, Staying hungry, one point on the step out, now two on the takedown. That's gonna do it. He broke the four match, and boy has Iran had a great day. They've won the close ones today. Look at the jubilation from Iran. They will remember this two-day stretch in Oslo for a very, very long time. And let me tell you, Yazdani Chirati left it all on the mat. He is gassed. He's proud. Gives a little kiss to David Taylor.